Uh, my name is Mark Wrigley and I'm here with the PyCon Telescope which uh, is a combination of two disruptive technologies, the 3D printing and Raspberry Pi. We've used 3D printing to make most of the components of the telescope. There are a few components in there we've bought off the shelf. The tube of the telescope is a ventilation duct and there are a few bits of Meccano in there as well. But the majority of parts are 3D printed. Instead of using an eyepiece, we use the Raspberry Pi to image. So we're using the Raspberry Pi without its lens and putting it at the focal point of the, of the mirror in the telescope to get an image. And doing it that way, we're getting a magnification that's about 160. We've taken the telescope out a few times now. The field of view is enough to get about half of the moon at a time. We're getting quite, quite good performance. Uh, what we'd like to do is, is improve the prototype a little bit. Uh, we have a few wires sitting in front of the field of view, which is causing some diffraction issues. Uh, but generally, we've been getting really good photographs. It is open hardware. We're about to crowdfund this, and we'll be putting the files up as part of the crowdfunding so that people can make their own, or they can come to us and get the parts that they need. We get two reactions, and it depends whether you're talking to a maker or an astronomer who's just spent £10,000 on a telescope. The criticism we have had is that somebody actually accuses us of using Lego parts. And I was proud to tell them that we didn't use Lego, we used Meccano. The biggest challenge really was getting to grips with 3D printing in uh, two areas. One was setting up the printer and really getting a good first layer to print and getting it to stick to the plate. That was difficult. The other challenge was that I'm a really old guy and I learned to do something called technical drawing back in the 1960s. So I had to convert to computer-aided design, which wasn't too bad, but was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, my advice to young makers would be just have a go. And just about anything is possible. And the entry level, the cost of getting started is very low now. So have an idea and have a go at it.